Okay. What's up, guys? Thanks for coming back and watching another episode of Making It Grain. I've got a Texas beer to try. Real Ale Brewing Company. Uh, this is actually a really cool brewery. This is actually a really cool brewery. They've been around since 1996. Uh, it's funny, they actually started out in the basement of an antique store in Blanco, Texas. They're still in Blanco, Texas. They're in a bigger place now. They've got a lot more employees. They're making some of the best beer in Texas. I know this is for my Texas crew. This is a fan favorite. Uh, if you don't know it or haven't heard of it or haven't tried it, pick it up. You can get it in 99% of the states. Uh, you can get it in 49 states. I'm guessing you guys live in one of those 49. Blanco I like it. I like the label. Smooth, clean, ready to go. This is going to be 5.6% alcohol. Real ale. It's cool. It's unfiltered, unpasteurized, no preservatives, no food colorings, uh, none of that dirty stuff. And that's what makes it real. This is the real deal, as Tupac himself would say. Anyways, uh, let's open it up. Let's get into it. Blanco, Texas, real ale. Brewing Company, Four Square Dry Hot Pale Ale. All right, it's a golden yellow, hazy, thick head, nice and tight and white. Look at that crisp lime there. I can already start to smell it and it smells delicious. They're gonna focus here on a combination of their crystal, amarillo, and mosaic hops. It's gonna be juicier, it's gonna be a little bit bitter, but not too much. It's not gonna be super hoppy or dank. It's gonna be very smooth. Oh, got an eyelash in there. Pretty hazy, I like that. Very bright, very good looking. Let's get the rest. Smell. Whoa. Mmm, very juicy and tropical. Very fragrant, super clean. Pretty hazy because it's unfiltered, cloudy, grapefruity, a little peppery. Let's try it. Whoa, that is really good. Mmm, very citrusy, very smooth. Wow, that, let me tell you guys a secret. That's delicious. So clean tasting, medium light carbonation. You guys are gonna have to go get a six pack of this and uh, you could drink it all in one night. I mean, it's one of those beers that you could just keep on, keep on drinking. Super fruity, but like, Okay, let me rephrase that. A little bit fruity, very, very crisp. Mmm, so clean for an, uh, for an unfiltered beer. I know that they're using really high quality ingredients in this one, and the, you can tell that it's not pasteurized, it's not, there's no preservatives, it's uncanny. Again, brewed in Blanco, Texas. Sold everywhere. Sharp. Really good. I could drink like 10 of these right now. I could have a just a, a never-ending glass of four squared real ale beer. Not bitter at all. Like there's that little bit of linger, but if you're if you for a dry hot pale ale, you're expecting that huge kick of bitterness that just leaves that grapefruit rind taste on the back of the tongue. You're not getting that here. You're getting some clean crisp freaking goodness it's, it's the aftertaste is a little bit sweet actually which is so nice but pretty citrusy uh this one is going in the top five i haven't decided which place to put it in yet i'm gonna put this here at number number three number two no number three no number four gosh i can't even think there you go four square it'd be cool to have an episode where i just try all of these at once uh pretty boozy mm-hmm it is good thanks for asking i've been saying that the whole time come here Come here. Guess which one of these I had. Uh, delicious. Go pick it up. Folks at Real Oil Brewing Company, great job. You guys have been around for a while, and you guys have perfected what you do. So, good job. Such a good smelling, tasting beer. Pick it up.
I think that's the fastest I finished to be on the episode. So there's that. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want. Please do. I will be back next Tuesday. On to the next. Thanks again. I'm Patrick, and I'm making it green. <laughs>